Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Now let us wait patiently out here for them. Please have some lovely- <laughs> Please have some lovely bitter green tea and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Can I just have the second one? <laughs> I love bitter green tea, but I knew you were going to say that. Hold on now, Granny. Granny. How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear Madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland! Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. W what are you- This is Korean Village. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. Sorry. Wow, she shut Lamada up! Now that's impressive! <laughs> now then, let us wait. Let's eat. I'm glad that they gave us. Hey now! What was that just now? It came from inside the channeling chamber. Uh-huh. I wonder. Hey, hey, that's a gunshot! Excuse me. I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I bet my afro on it. You kind of heard a gunshot, Lada. <laughs> Maya! Maya's in there! Break into the chamber. Ask Morgan what to do. Okay. If she doesn't break into that chamber within the next five seconds, we are. <laughs> Go! Oh, oops. Miss Faye, what should we do? You little belly chicken liver, what are you waiting for? Kick it down already! But the key... That key is one of a kind. In this world, there's only that one. I am powerless to open that door. Hmm, there really is no other way. All right. <laughs> but let's just do it from the get-go this time. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what's the plan? What else? We're going to break in. What? But, but there's only one key and that kid's got it. We're going to have to break the door. Is that all right, Miss Faye? Well, yes. But there is one matter, that is... Don't try to stop me! You can send the repair bill to the Wright and Company law offices later! Yeah! Now that's what I call being a man! Oh, he's dead. Great! D Dr. Gray! Actually, that's fine by me. <laughs> wow, Marty! <laughs> no, that's... I... I was... Murdered. M Maya? That man murdered me. So I killed him. W what? Uh, Lana, at a time like this? I know exactly what this must be then. She channeled, so she channeled the nurse, and the nurse is speaking to him. So the nurse is like, oh great! Pew, pew, pew! Where and would they get the pistol? I don't know. <laughs> it's a, it's a, ch a channel spirit room. I don't know. It, I don't know how channeling spirits works. But if it, if she's the nurse gal, then... She's the nurse gal. And then, maybe who knows, maybe the doctor was trying to get revenge on the nurse gal, not Maya. And then he was like, oh, I need you to channel this... Oh, and then, by the way, I'm going to kill you. Like, if he did that, Maya would be dead. Well, she is dying currently, so... <laughs> Times like this are perfect for snapping out shut. <laughs> Snapping up shots of vodka. <laughs> but anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she... Maya? Step away from there. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But, but... Hurry! Before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go, city boy. Leave this to the granny. June 19th, Corain Village. My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here. I knew we'd have to use that So I ended up using room. the phone booth to call the police. And? They're on their way. That's good. Lottie, I say. Lottie, I saw a genuine mysterious phenomenon. She seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Well, this is intriguing. Hey, mister. That gal, Maya, 
She wasn't the one that pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Lana doesn't know that when Maya's channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. Then again, weren't there only two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Well, this is probably going to be a longer episode anyways. Whoops. <laughs> Hopefully don't, people don't mind. Lotta, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. So, as soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts a hollering. Must have been real rough to work for him. I, I would imagine. Hey, Lada, did you know I'm still a defense attorney? Hey, they'll be here soon, right? The police, I mean. I reckon you should be getting back to the crime scene now. I don't want to die! <laughs> yeah, Why I guess are so. we going back? Granny said to get out of there, so to speak. Well, yeah, well we called the police, and so now we're going back. June 19th, Faye Manor, she's gonna Meditation Room. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Wright. Wrong! <laughs> Miss Faye, how's, um, Mystic Maya? She's returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She's still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. I guess I have to wait. <sighs> the police are here! Sorry to keep you waiting. You traveled huh? two you hours? You again? <laughs> what are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Also, the developers of the game had some sprite limitations and all that, and they didn't want to put in another detective. Well, time to check out the crime scene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, all right? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you to the scene of the crime, Detective Gumshoe? Jim Shoe? <laughs> Jim Shoe? <laughs> Um, my name isn't Jim Shu. Two of them went into the channeling chamber. I guess all I can do now is see what everyone else has to say. Oh, uh, what about the girl who was asleep? Yeah, maybe we should check on that. Or bear. Or person. June 19th, Faye Manor side room. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. This is you. Like, how can I help you? Ah! Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, that is, I... Um, like, so isn't this about time to start? Huh? Time to start what? You know, like, the channeling. This is not at all the voice I have thought. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm just channeling? starting with this, and I'll figure oh, it out. Oh, 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 oh! No, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like, what do you mean? Please stay calm, but a murder has taken place. Um, so, like, a murder is that thing where, like, one person kills another, right? Yes, a person has killed another person. Oh, that's, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, like, totally a bummer. <laughs> Definitely not at all the voice I had for her. <laughs> yeah. After all that effort, that's all she had to say. Oh, I'm sorry. I t forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is Eeny Meeny. Eeny Miny. Eeny Miny, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I... Oh, well, I, the opening scene, she was like, Eeny! So, <laughs> we'll see. I always picture this as... I'm like, Eeny Miny. I'm like, My name is Eeny Miny. <laughs> like, I have that Nye voice. Nye. Actually, that Not high-pitched at um, all. At the college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? That's right. Um, I think people, like, usually call it occult studies or something. You know what? I can dig this voice. Like, again, completely opposite of what I pictured, but it fits. <laughs> like supernatural phenomenon, ESP and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. That's pretty out there. I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. <laughs> Eeny miny. So what brings you here today? Um, like, so... I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like... Do you know of a good spirit medium? Hmm, Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Cause, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. 
I see. Then why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Huh? I'm, like, allergic to sesame seeds. <laughs> what? Don't go to Panera Bread. <laughs> They're big Don't old. ever do that. Or eat Asian food. We live in Asia. <laughs> it's, it's America. <laughs> she shouldn't have any problems. Green tea and strawberry desserts are not America. But anyway. Strawberry desserts are too. Strawberry well, like, must have put some in the lunch they serve. The food they serve for lunch. The lunch they serve for food. Yep. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I, like, felt sick and came in here to, like, sleep. I totally feel like I've wasted my time because I, like, slept a long time. <laughs> okay, I am already digging the voice big time. <laughs> Again, I respect you being, trying... like, deeper than that. No, no, she's got the eyes, though, for, like, I'm really high-pitched and obnoxious. I, I did not think that, but all right, this this is, works really well, though. So you were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like what? Oh, that. I, like, totally know nothing. So who was, like, you know, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? I don't know any Dr. Gray! Oh, really? That's not exactly what Dr. Gray said. Huh! Well, uh... Like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient, yeah. She sounds like she's trying to hide something. Well, okay, whoever got killed, the nurse knows her. So, I don't know, maybe they're friends or related or something? Like, I'm really sorry, but I'm not all that smart. So I don't, like, get it. Hmm, why does it feel like she's just putting on an act? I'm sure she'll have a different voice if she's like, Woo! Oh, hey! That's, like, Maya Faye, right? She's, like, totally way famous. Like, well, for people like us, you like, you know? Way famous? Maya? I mean, like, she's, like, the daughter of the master, right? Hmm, well, at least she remembers some things. What is with her hat? She's wearing a beret, she's really... I'm, like, totally bad at remembering people's names. Yeah, she's wearing a beret. Uh, oh? But I, like, remember seeing that face somewhere before. Like, I think. Well, thanks for trying. I didn't think it was possible for someone to be this much of an airhead. On the gap Oh, I want to see how old she is. Oh, yeah. 21. A huge fan of the occult. Apparently. She lives for the next big scoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, I didn't think she'd have She's to... seen every person in here, apparently. Um, this face. Like, I think I've seen it somewhere before. What? Y you're joking, right? Like, of course I am, silly. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I know that's the investigation theme, but that's, like, always going to be Eeny Miney's theme for me. Yeah. <sighs> There's no one here, as usual. Ah! Huh. Hey, how are you? Well, we're already breaking code. You're Pearl, right? Hmm, silent as ever. What's that she's got in her hand? I've seen it somewhere before. Can we talk to her? Um. What is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's spiky enough. You don't- not everyone has to be a Sora. Sora! 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 Sora. Well, June 19th, Fame Manor, Channeling Chamber. The police are busily running here and there, and I don't see Maya anywhere. Well, maybe she's gonna hey, you! Don't touch anything! Look, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal, I'll let you ask me a few questions, alright? Um, about Maya. I hate to break this to you, pal, but 
With the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room, after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, right? He was shot in the forehead. But... But... But he was also stabbed in the chest with a knife. A knife? After being stabbed, the final blow was a shot from a gun. Hit two weapons in there. Okay. How did Doge get there? Blood! Hey, pal! No touching without my permission. I'm just looking at it. Hey, I can't be too careful if a kid like her can be a murderer suspect, can I? Now she's 18, so... I, I guess if I want to search this room, I'm going to have to come back later. Yeah. Hey, Detective, I'm an attorney. Uh, I'm really busy right now. I can take a look at it later, all right, pal? I wonder. She didn't even take a glance at it. If you are 17 and you commit either murder or accidental murder like a few days before your birthday and the trial continues till you are 18, You're you are, you you are, are tried as a 17-year-old. Oh, okay. Because you committed the crime before you turned, turned 18. 18. Okay. That'll make more sense. June 19th, Karain Village. She's probably scared out of her wits after having to witness a murder take place right near her. Lada? No, I don't really want to be next! Yeah! Don't scare me like that! What do you mean? You're the one scaring me! If I was so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands! Mine! <laughs> Easy, Lada. Wait, whoops. We've already done this. <laughs> no, not the, the long flashback. We don't need that. <laughs> Did you see or notice anything that stuck out at you? Nah. Well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Huh? What? Curses and ghosts and stuff come back to get you. This is just too much, I say. What is too much? Being a cult photographer. That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm gonna try being a celebrity photographer now. There's also scary stuff about celebrity <laughs> photographers. Different every, kind of scary. <laughs> every single paparazzi is creepy. I feel, I like. feel like paparazzi should not be allowed. No, it shouldn't. Going after photos more within your reach from now on. More glamour, less score. What's up? Oh, yeah! Well, what is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures of the murder scene inside! Ah! She did! Two, even! The what? Seance. Seance murder! I sure like the ring of that, it'll be a sensational story! Um, what I don't- Vada! Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside of me! Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in! Gotta beat those cops to the scoop of the century! I don't know who's scarier, Lada or the spirits. Lada. And why does it feel like we've been through this before? At least she had a camera on her. Oh, we can't... Doggone it. Alright, we can't even go to the detention center. Well, I guess that's where we... Well, I really want to meet Maya before we end the episode. Yeah, I kind of want to see if she's alive. <laughs> June 19th, Fay Manor, Meditation Room. Oh dear, madam. You have such impeccable timing. Like, what's all the buzz? Ahem. <clears throat> all right, everyone. Listen up. You too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigating's not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fay Manor tonight. Thank you, paint-drinking lady. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and taken away by the police. Well, she's alive, okay. And I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. Why do you think she was dead? Because she was murdered, as she said. She's like, I was murdered, so I murdered him. Yeah. Blah. No, she didn't die. Fall over. No, okay. the nurse died in the car accident. She, oh, yeah. That's what that's she was weird. saying. June 20th, 8.02 a.m., Fay Manor Meditation Room. Ugh, morning. I guess I must have nodded off at some point. 
Hope my is okay. I should hurry up and get to the detention center ASAP. June 20th, 1034 AM, detention center visitors room. Nick, Nick, Nick! Hi. Maya! What am I going to do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here, in this detention center. What rotten luck. I finally... I finally get to see you again, and... It's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did it. I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I, I couldn't control the spirit's power, so... I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but... You don't have to be nice to me, I understand. Oh, sad music. The new detention center music. I like it, though. So you're the master or something of the Crane School of Channeling? Actually, my mother is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I guess I will be someday. But many people think that channeling isn't real, that it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. When Maya's channeling a spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. It happened this time, too. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. What exactly happened in the channeling chamber? I went into the room with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes, and I began the channeling. This is sounding kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. It is! And that's the last thing I remember. What? After a spirit comes into my body, I lose myself and my consciousness. Then, then... Then you don't remember a single thing? When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Hmm. Oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? Um, I can't remember it all that well, but I was dead and buried in the ground. That's depressing. I couldn't move, and it was unbearable. Really suffocating. It went something like that. I... I see. I have no idea what to say to that. That see, that is me. Every time someone's like, "Oh, I had a dream last night," and start, I'm like, "So?" Like there was, I think there was like a really early Peanuts comic where like Patty's like, "Oh, Charlie Brown had a dream last night." Charlie Brown's like, "Oh, great, someone's coming to me with their dream again." It's like, so like if this was having this, he's like, it was just like really ticked off. Like at the end, she's like, "Yeah, like that was my dream." What do you think it means? He, like, do you know what it means? He's absolutely. It means you were asleep last night. <laughs> That's how I, no, I, I Do you remember Phineas and Ferb where there was like the cool innator that's blasting all the stuff? And there, there was like the guy that has like iced tea or whatever? One of the girls, she's like, You want to hear a dream I had about my cat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I remembered. <laughs> there was a really familiar smell too. Under the ground? Yeah. I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. I guess this is about all the information I'm going to gather for today. I'll be back later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. But... What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty! I'm a murderer! No one's decided that yet. But I did! I killed that person! With these two hands! That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless! If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure! Stop it! Help me. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry, I will. When's the trial? Sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. Alright, I'm going now. Wait! Hmm? This jewel. This is called a Megatama. It's a special charm and it's always protected me. Give this to Pearly. 
I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. Magatama received from Aya. Alright then. A Magatama! Ooh, we're back at Wright Company Law Offices. June 20th, Wright and Company Law Offices. And that's where we're going to leave it for today. I did not anticipate the episode being over an hour. But that's what happens when you have to examine everything and present everything to everyone. And yep. apparently that was a longer intro to the uh, investigation period than I remember. So yeah. thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time. Hope. I might say hopefully we can finish the investigation in one episode, but maybe it'll be another long episode. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see, because apparently I forgot how long the periods were in this game. So look forward to that until we meet again. Wait. Why can't I, why can't I save? Why can't I start and save? Why not? Why do they do that? Let us enter. I think you have oh, to get past it first. Yeah, yeah, I can't see. Oops. Phew, it feels like I've been gone forever. But it's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Where's that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Ah, here it is, right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. Newspaper clipping one added to the court record. Okay, now we can save and quit. <laughs> That was weird. It wouldn't let me save and quit at that. It's because like, you had, like, a, hey, important thing coming. I thought that would be a save. perfect time to save and quit. Anyhow, tune in next time for more Phoenix Wright Justice for All. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great day and God bless.